I don't know nobody that's not trying to be happy or successful. If you're not trying to be those two things, something's seriously wrong. And you, you got to go get yourself some help. And uh, it's sort of, I was watching this, this guy Darius that's out here with this, I can't even call it disability. I'm looking at a kid that has no legs, no full functioning arms or hands. And I watched him sit on, watch YouTube, teach himself how to play a piano, get invited to Carnegie Hall. And I was just thinking, man, I really don't know how this affects you, but I really, I trip on stuff like that. Cause I sit up and I always look at myself. And you know, I've, I've done a lot of jumping in my life. I'm not gonna lie to you, but this kid really inspired me today because, I mean, if you look at somebody like that and he says he wants to be an inspiration, I mean, for us to create an excuse for anything, it's unacceptable. It's really, really unacceptable. You can't, why would you not go for it? Why would you not take a chance? You know, Tom Bell was out here. He said, at one point in time, you got to take a chance on you. But see, let me help you understand something, in case you ain't thought about that. When you take a chance on you, I want you to remember something, that all of us were created in God's image. So when you take a chance on you, you taking a chance on God. It's because God is in all of us. You know, I mean, look, man, you might not talk to him as much as you ought to. We might not acknowledge him in every way we should, but he's in all of us. The good that you see in you, that's God. That's God. When you, when you care about somebody, that's God. When you feel sympathy for somebody, that's God. When you help somebody, that's God. Everybody in here got a piece of God in them. Everybody. So when you take a chance on you, you actually taking a shot on you and God. Because here's the deal. God, when he created all of you, all of us, he gave you a gift at birth. At birth. He gave it to you. The cool thing about God is he didn't hide it from you. He didn't put it on a mountain. He didn't put it under the water. He didn't hid it under no rock. He put it in you at birth. God never created a soul without giving them a gift. All of you are gifted at something. The problem is you keep wanting your gift to be what somebody else gift is. That's a problem. If you ain't really an actor, why you act? If you really can only sing at the church, why you out here trying to be a saint? If you really, really, really don't really produce music, why you out here trying to, you really not a rapper. You steady rapping, ain't you 34, ain't nobody found you yet. You feel me? All of you have a gift. You just gotta quit wanting your gift to be somebody else's gift. Identify your own gift, cause you already have it. Here's the way you identify your gift. Your gift is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That is your God-given gift. That's it. When I had hair, the dude that gave me my first haircut in Texas, you know how much he charged me for my haircut? $10. Do you know when he came out on the road with me on the Kings of Comedy and did the Steve Harvey show, do you know how much he was making per haircut? $1,500 a haircut. You know how many haircuts I got a week? Four haircuts a week. This dude made $6,000 a week cutting hair. You know what he do? He cut hair. When I went bald, he damn near killed himself. But you know what he did? He went back to what he do. Now guess what he got? He got four salons in Texas and two barber colleges. You know what he made? Six million dollars a year. You know what he do? He cut hair. That's all he do. Listen to me. Y'all got a gift that God gave to you at birth. If I was you, I would do that gift for you mess around and lead this world because your gift will make room for you. You'll be the happiest you've ever been and you'll make the most money you ever made. I dare you to try it. That's a promise God made. Thank y'all.